we're going to our old apartment to go clean it up because we're supposed to be out by the 30th, um, which is Wednesday. I think Wednesday, right? No, it's Thursday. Oh, it's I Thursday. Like the, it's tomorrow's the 27th. Yeah, Wednesday, so we are, we moved out and we live in a really nice place now, but now we are going to go clean up our old place, get all the rest of our stuff out. Um, and people keep calling our old apartment about taking our parking spot. So I guess it's like super highly coveted. So we're trying to like get out of there for good. So, um, we're just going to be cleaning all day and then finally unpacking some other stuff that we have. Um, and we're going to have fun while we do it. Right. <laughs> ridiculously special day to me because I hopped on the scale this morning and I didn't get to vlog about it because I was already running late and I didn't have time but I jumped on the scale and I'm officially 20 pounds down from where I started um, I think I started sometime around last year and I've really been on and off with it um, you know I'll do a bit of a video about um, all of this because I don't think I've really talked it out or explained it, but I was diagnosed with diabetes, um, she's like a month ago, a little over a month ago. And so that's really gotten my ass in gear. <laughs> but the other thing is that, um, you know, I just have been like very uncomfortable in my own skin and I you know, along with like knowing the health challenges with diabetes and like what it's doing to my body, I also decided like I kind of hate how I look sometimes and I need to do something about it. And so the other day I saw this awesome picture of myself and I was super jealous of the old me. So I decided that I was going to work as hard as I could to one, get healthy, but to really feel comfortable in my skin. So today's like celebratory moment was when I hopped on the scale and I was 20 pounds down. I got to log it in my fitness pal. It popped up with like this awesome little congratulations thing. So I know that I can do it. It's just been really hard. And you know, like right now it's almost eight o'clock. I just got home a little while ago. Um, just changed into my workout clothes for the evening. Um, I still haven't walked the dog. I still haven't cooked dinner. I still haven't taken my medicine, but it's like I have to figure out how to prioritize it all and make it work. But, you know, being 20 pounds down is kind of like the first, like, okay, you got this, you can do it. So um, I'm actually going to go celebrate with a workout, which I'm really happy with and really excited about. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so 
The reason I look so decked out and glammed up today is because I'm a speaker at Houston Social Media Day. Um, I am super terrified and super nervous and I keep thinking like what if I forget everything or what if you know people don't you know my session doesn't resonate with anyone but I'm just gonna go at it and have fun and see what happens I'm really excited to see a lot of the speakers so it's like a nice professional development day for me too because um, I get to learn from a bunch of really brilliant people in the industry so you'll see that kind of throughout the day but I'm really really excited so oh uh, I don't know <laughs> maybe you'll get to see parts of my session maybe you will I don't know um, if I even think about filming beforehand, I know I'm gonna, like, ten minutes before I'm gonna start sweating and getting really nervous and shaky and stuff, but once I start, it'll be great. Um, but yeah, so I'm headed out to that today, and I'll have some clips, um, for you guys to see so you can be there with me <laughs> and see what I saw. day was absolutely amazing um, I had such a great time and I got nothing but great feedback on my presentation so I'm just thrilled that I got to be a part of it um, and I had such a great day everything was so much fun and it was awesome to meet so many people that I haven't met before but have followed on social media so I was thrilled and super excited I Oh my gosh, I love this community. It's awesome. Y'all, I cannot let this day go to waste. Like, this face is amazing. I can't even believe I look like this. Like, I did my makeup this morning when I was, like, super tired. And I need to, like, do a full face of makeup more often because I... I'm, I'm cute. <laughs> and, like, I have really good skin, like... You know, it's oily, but I don't get a whole lot of zits and things like that. But when I put on makeup, it really enhances what I've got going on. So I need to do this more often. Um, I'm just waiting for Brian to get home because he has an early day home from work today. So I am about to take out some shrimp and some chicken and slice them up and make a really, really good pasta, shrimp and lemon pasta for dinner um, with this. Rienz, Rienzi, Penne de Zitti, this Italian thing that's probably not even really Italian, um, made with semolina, so it's supposed to be healthier for you, but who knows, probably not. Um, and then I'm probably gonna, I don't know, I don't know, gonna do something, but my lips stayed on all day, hold on, I gotta get under a good light. And I gotta take off my glasses, hold on. And wipe the little oils. So, if you can tell, my hair was not affected by today's humidity and it looks super cute. Um, my lips stayed on completely all day long. Like I reapplied lipstick once and it was after I had eaten like a vegetarian wrap this afternoon for lunch. And then like the rest of my face, like my face makeup just looks so good. I am, I've outdone myself this time. This is not typical. But then also, I was really excited because there was a selfie contest and you could win a selfie stick with like a Bluetooth uh, clicker thing. Um, and I actually won it because my selfie was awesome. And it was a, a self, like a video selfie of the group that I had just met. I met these awesome ladies. Um, at the conference that I was at today. They were so cool um, and so friendly and like so encouraging. I told them that I was speaking and I was nervous and they were just like, you're gonna nail it, you're gonna do so great. And it ended up all being really awesome. So I'm really appreciate, appreciative of all of them. Um, 
and you know I think I made some some good friends so that was really nice um, I just had a really great day at the conference so hey butthead what are you doing hey you're not supposed to be on the couch anyway thank you jeez so weird I always really do wonder what she's thinking. <laughs> oh, it's hot outside. This is Jams, I can't believe you're gonna make coffee. I'm making you coffee. Okay. Oh, and you look so pretty too. I look crazy. <laughs> Ew, this one. Okay, which one do you want? No, I want like a caramel Indria. one. Indria, oh caramel. What is that? Indria. I feel like this one's the caramel one. The black one? Ristretto? Mm, no. Oh, here. This, these are intense. Ew. Variation. Caramel. Oh, I think it's this one. Oh, and that, this is vanilla. I'm going to find you the right one. Lasalle. No, I think it's... So I think it's this one. So, the big ones go in here. Look. They just go, like, down. Where's the thing? I just saw it. It's this. See? Oh, head first. Wait. No. No, that's the wrong one. We're going to break this I thing. I think it is that one. Uh, I don't think this works. Oh. Because you did it the wrong way? No, that's not it. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Then you do that. And then you push the button. Which one is it? I don't know. I don't own this thing. What if it's really loud? I think it's really loud. Is that how it's supposed to go? Oh, it's heating it. Oh, it doesn't have milk. Oh, there's yeah. no milk in it. No. Okay. Oh my god, why are they all going <laughs> Wasn't us, we promised. We didn't try. Yeah. yeah. For the lady. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so cute. It's a real little cup. <laughs> Yay! To, not might be, we're gonna go to um, Miller Outdoor Theater to watch Jurassic World. But come out, come out if you're bored. Totally should come out. I'm bringing like a little sip of candle candles so we don't get eaten up outside. Just gonna be laying there on the hill, get some fresh air, drinks, food. Egg box. Okay? Good. Yeah, just shoot me a text. Yeah, just shoot me a text and just let me know where you're at. And if we finish up earlier or something, it's still a young night. I'll David doesn't want to come okay. see me? I, he looks a little offended that you're not coming though. You should come. Don't offend her. Yeah, see? He goes, don't want to offend Mila. I love Mila. <laughs> okay, David. <laughs> okay. Oh, he doesn't like being outside. Oh, I understand that. That's okay because I have my natural hair today for a reason. So <laughs> you should just come with your natural hair too. It's so curly. <laughs> like a princess. She already is. <laughs> We have a lot to do today. We are trying to get settled into our new apartment that we've lived in for a month. And so there's like all this a stuff. Month and a day. Month and a day. All this stuff behind me that we still haven't unpacked. There's all this stuff. Oh, you can't see it. Over here in our really beautifully lit living room. 
It's so nice in here when the windows are open, but we don't open them that much because we live on the first floor. So we don't want people like walking by seeing our stuff. But um, we have like all of these paintings to hang up, that artwork to hang up. We have to clean and get stuff organized and figure out what kind of like organization stuff we need. Um, we're definitely going to need oh, focus. We're definitely going to need some stuff for storage and bookshelves and things like that. So we have to measure, but we thought we had it all figured out until we went and cleaned out our old apartment. And then we realized that we had nothing figured out and that we just had like a bunch of stuff that we didn't have places for. Um, this apartment is much bigger than the one that we had before. Right, babe? Yeah. And, um, but it's just like configured differently. So our stuff fits a lot differently than it did in the old place, but we're going to figure it out today with all of our cleaning and organizing. And maybe I'll be able to show y'all our functional and new apartment. And I can give you a little tour of what we've got happening now. So we really love it here. Um, there have been a few things that have kind of not worked out that well. Um, just with like stuff that they've told us that could happen that didn't happen. And then a little bit of disorganization um, on part of the office. But otherwise, they throw parties for the residents every month. They have like breakfasts and dinners. Um, they do like food trucks twice a month. And so you get to meet your neighbors and feel like more part of a community, which is really nice. Um, and then everything is just much, much nicer than our old place. Our old place was really like our struggle apartment. Um, and then we also love living on the first floor. That's been the best part because we used to live on the third floor and we had to do our dog walks and stuff like that and bring groceries up three flights of stairs every two weeks. And now it's just like we walk it in, we can park close to our apartment. We don't have to pay for parking. Um, which is really nice. So it's a little, a little more pricey than what we were spending before, but you know, we felt like the increase was worth it and we could do it. So we did it, <laughs> but we're going to cook breakfast and start cleaning everything.